fantasy fanboy? I have fantasy's autograph. You do? Oh! I met fantasy in Bisu. Oh, that's so awesome. You went to that MLG? BlizzCon, yeah, actually. Oh, BlizzCon. All right, nice. BlizzCon 2011. Um, do you want me to do intros, or do you Go want to? Go for it. Go for it, sir. Okay, so we are on Entomb Valley. This is, I believe, the semi-finals of Zotac. Yes. And spawning in the top right-hand corner of the map is the Red Protoss. It is FXO's Crane. And in the bottom right left-hand corner, spawning opposite him, it is the Teal Protoss. It is Sunlight. Yeah. All right. I'm getting starboard up since we have uh, Crane instead of ASD here. Do you know what people can be confused? Yes. ASD is not off racing. <laughs> you probably could though. Oh yeah. I don't uh, know if you fare quite well, but a lot of um, top Korean pros actually ladder exclusively as off races, I believe, at least on some accounts. Yeah. And their main race stuff is like either in a barcode account or only only in specific team practice games and not laddering. I played against Violet off racing, and he just shit on me. Oh yeah. <laughs> and major. Major Zerg is like ridiculously good. I'm pretty sure he could, like, he's been laddering in Korean Grandmaster on and off as Zerg. It makes sense because. I played against his that toss, but good, not as Zerg. When you're that good, you know, you want to play the other races so you learn their timings yeah. inside and out. So you're like, if a Marine, if three Marines walk into my base in four minutes, it pisses me the hell off every single time I play when I'm Protoss, <laughs> for example. So I'm going to start doing that as Terran. Yeah. It really, really helps you play um, a lot. Oh, yeah. Holy lag. Way back when I used to play StarCraft a lot, I um, I was like, I originally played Protoss. It was like Season 2, and then I, I swapped to Terran, and I was so good at Terran versus Protoss because I knew what got me angry every single time. Yeah. Looks like we're on the latter version of the map, actually, because we don't have neutral depots, but luckily, luckily we enough, did they spawn get... cross, yeah. Yeah, we would probably have to have a regame if they were horizontal spawns. This but we avoided the WCS that. version. I'm not 100 percent sure if the WCS. No, the WCS has. Uh, they have depots. Neutral depots, yeah. Yep. Even Blizzard admits that they need neutral depots on competitive versions of the map because okay, they saw though. what they saw what happened with Beyond and ST when they accidentally had Jesus. neutral depots oh off of a map. Yeah. <laughs> there was a scandal over it. That was. Uh, I'm glad that kind of died down without intervention from uh, some farm party. There were just the players who were like, Nesty, you want to regame? Nesty was like, nah, I'm cool. And, and that, Since he got trashed by Dylan, I, I, it would be a, a hard position. Yeah. If it was like a 3-2 series and Nesty had lost that game... Yeah, as the ace map? I, oh my god. Well, not the ace map, but like, say game one was that game, but it was like a 3-2 loss instead of a 3-0, then yeah. I could see a regame and that would be for the, like, for the whole bag of marbles instead, but it was a 3-0, so... We just see Twilight Council coming out of Sunlight, so I guess we're doing... He canceled it. Oh, he did? Yeah, oh, yeah, because Probe is in there. In. Um, so this will be a little bit of early stock especially. This is actually, like, first. if you want to build for team games for Protoss, this is the way to go. Two-gate Stalker into Twilight Council Blink, four-gate. Yep. Dollars. That are just uh, Blink Obs, that's another variation. Yeah. And, yeah, we got one-gate Robo. And Sunlight's got a robo of his own. I like it on this map. Um, the choice of sentries is interesting. Uh, because yeah. it's such a small... Um, because it's such a small ramp, you generally won't get all that much use out of uh, multiple sentries, especially when you're building up energy for days. And bold move by Sunlight. He's going for that quick nexus off of 2 gate robo. Yeah. Did he scout? Yes, he did. He didn't scout. I don't think he did. He did. Oh yeah, he did, but a little not bit, recently. A little bit. He didn't see the robo, that's what I thought. Like, I checked to see if he saw the robo, he didn't, and then I'm yeah. like, Derp, he didn't scout. I don't know how I got that in my head. Probably because he almost never scouts, ever. Yeah, he doesn't scout in uh, PvT most matches, either. PvP, though, kind of got a scout. <laughs> yeah, he has to so play the bullet. Like, uh, I guess. So much different crap that can come at you in PvP, it's not even funny. Yeah. Since it's not 4-gate v 4-gate anymore. I played back in those days, and I wanted to throw my computer tower out the window every time I got Taldarim. That's the reason I, I changed to uh, Terran, and like, yep. play Terran and Zerg off and on and off, because Protoss was just bullshit PvP. You're like, oh god. I used to leave every, every P PvP game, back when it was 4-gate versus 4-gate. Oh no, the obs are meeting each other. 
no stalkers, so these obs are like, hey, what's up? <laughs> the sentries come out. Sentry the <laughs> obs. Sentries. Just sell these sentries in the real map. Haha, <laughs> I got your observer. Yeah. Oh crap. Lose all the sentries to like zealots. So there is another immortal come Oh no! He made a second oh, observer. Second observer. Wow. Surprise. All right. That's actually huge because now um Definitely. Rain has to He wants to get immortals out of immortal. this point. Yeah, he can't. He has he's forced yeah. to get an observer. And now he has to spend like even with a ten second uh buff. Oh it wow, he could actually Yeah, he's working in a stalker right now. He does see the observer. So we're gonna have Twilight Council versus um Colossus, it looks like. Interesting. Um and Crane has gone for an expansion of his own, so Sunlight comes out far ahead in this uh, little agreement because if one player expands and another doesn't retaliate and expands himself, he's behind, then... I would be really surprised if we don't see... Um, if we don't see a Robotics Bay coming up relatively soon. Uh, this Observer is going to get picked off, but no big deal. One and one for Observers. There's Blink. This actually is kind of cool, like... Immortals plus Blink Stalkers versus Colossus and Immortals. Oh, Speed Warp Prisms, actually. So maybe he's not going to go Colossus. Maybe he just wants some Warp Prisms. He's going to transition into Colossus after this Immortal drop. Yeah. This is really cool, though. Sense. Especially on Entombed, you can snipe pylons like a madman. Oh, um, yes. Because there are so many cliff ledges and stuff. The Observer, he does see it. Um, so he's waiting for his own to catch up. There you go. Man, Crane oh, cannot catch a freaking Brig. Yeah, this is terrible. He's getting his ass kicked as bad as the Crane Hermit did in Dragon Ball at this <laughs> point. It seems like. Oh my gosh, what was I? There was a Dragon Ball reference in something that I watched the other day, and I was like, yes! But I forgot I'm talking about original Dragon Ball, like back when Goku was a little oh, kid yeah. and Tien was a bad guy, like back when he was like, part of the Crane house. Easy peasy. Oh no! Finally, finally Crane gets revenge! Uh, yeah, now Crane has an Observer and Sunlight does not. And here He's comes the speed drop uh, with the Immortals. There is a proxy pylon going down here. Uh oh, these stalkers have blink. He could actually pick us off. Possibly. No, he's not going to blink in there. <laughs> Come at me. Come at me, man. You want some of this? There's All right, the as long as he target fires, these stalkers down. Losing these two Immortals is huge. Yeah. Alright, so now this is the way that the game will go. We will see Crane try and warp in a couple zealots and deter San from moving across the map and killing him. But with these gateways finishing, oh my that god! That warp prism is just a glorified observer at this point. Although he did actually buy six stalkers being warped in here, um, yeah, defensively. However, this warp prism is now trapped and oh man. Yeah. There's Colossi coming out. He's making a Colossus transition, but he doesn't have any immortals at this point to backbone his army. Um. And his opponent and knows. Like, yeah, oh, no, this is, and that's the thing. Oh, this is uh, ASC's Crane observer. Stalkers. Crane Stalkers don't have um, Blink, whereas Sunlights do, and with no Immortals to really punish that Blink, he can just start sniping Colossi really easy, even if he doesn't get the Immortals in range. Yeah. The Immortals can just focus on Stalkers for all he cares. I really like the fact that he's uh, making a couple of cannons here to try and help defend, but this is going to be too little, this is a too tall late. task coming in here. Um, it is. But if he can hold this, he's not in the greatest position in the world, but at least he doesn't end the game immediately. That's a really good concave, actually, and there's yeah. the blink. And oh wow, some nice forces going calls. down for Sunlight. Yeah, those stalkers are nice and Damn. fucked up. These, these Colossus is doing work now. It's gonna fall, but it paid for itself. There's GG. Yeah.